Have you ever tried baking a cake? If you have, you might have noticed that baking is actually science. It's basically a scientific experiment combining chemistry, physics and biology. Will you help me bake a cake today and we can learn all about the science of baking? Awesome! Before we begin, will you do something for me? Just hit that little subscribe button down below. Every time someone subscribes, it helps me make even more videos and it helps you stay up to date so we can keep on learning together. Today, I'm going to make a basic cake which uses butter, eggs, sugar, flour, milk and vanilla essence. Because baking is an exact science, it's important to use the right ingredients so that we end up with the correct texture and flavour. I'm going to start by beating the butter and sugar together, which is called creaming. See the butter and sugar change colour as I mixed it and become paler? That's because when the butter and sugar were mixed together, little bubbles of air formed which were then surrounded by a film of fat, creating a foam. And it's these bubbles that are going to give our cake a really light and fluffy texture. Now I'm going to add two eggs. bubbles of air escaping during cooking, we add beaten egg. The egg white thickens and hardens as it cooks, forming a wall around each bubble, which keeps it safe within the mixture. The egg white also helps our cake stay together and stop it from crumbling apart. Now I'm going to add some self-raising flour. Flour contains gluten, which is like thousands of tiny elastic bands forming a network around the bubbles in our mixture. When the mixture is heated, the bubbles will expand and the stretchy gluten will stretch around the expanding bubbles and our cake will rise. Once it gets to a point where the gluten can't stretch anymore, our cake is set. The self-raising flour we used in this cake contains baking powder, which is a combination of bicarb soda, a base, and an acid, which is usually cream of tartar. When they're dry, the acid and the base don't react, but when they're added to a wet mixture, they start to form little bubbles of carbon dioxide. And then when we heat our mixture in the oven, even more bubbles form, helping our cake get that light and fluffy texture. We can then add more liquid, like milk, so that our cake isn't too dry. Now it's time to put our cake into the oven and see even more transformations taking place. I think our cake is ready. Let's get it out of the oven and take a look.
the next time you're eating a cake. Maybe you'll think about all the scientific processes that. Next time you're eating a cake, maybe you'll think about all the scientific processes that went on during the mixing of the ingredients and the baking of the cake. Maybe you could make your favourite cake at home. And parents, if you have Instagram, follow me and leave me a comment. Let me know how you went. I'll see you next time on Learning with Katie. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Learning with Katie for even more fun and educational content. See you in our next video.